Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to deploy SSRS reports to the report server by using Report Manager. And we will also work with the data source from that interface as well. So first of all, we need to locate .rdl files and data source file if there is any or uh, we'll see what are the limitations when it comes with the data source file uh, how we would uh, handle that now here the report files can be anywhere so let's say if you have created a project and uh, you have saved that project in some location and that's where your file will be saved so we click here on the properties go to full path go to run and then i'm gonna go and go to the folder where the report should be in the project we have the reports now if you will see here all the reports are here and I always recommend getting from the bin folder because bin folder will contain your build reports. So let's say if you make some changes here and you will never build it and you never preview it the report would not have some time of changes. So build is the final thing when you build it it will all the changes will be saved to the report definition of file. So I recommend building it before you take the file. Next, uh, let me take uh, take you to the folder. So we have the folder right here. And uh, that's where we have a .rdl files. And here one of the called uh, .rds file. So this is our data source file. And these all our report files. This is uh, uh, something we don't really care. We care about only .rdl and .rds. So let's go ahead and now open the report manager uh, web interface and uh, let's deploy some of the reports so first of all you go to the search and say SQL server reporting and you will see SQL server reporting configuration manager so you open it yes and while I was telling you locating the files you, there could be possibility you will be getting these files in the email there could be possibility these files are saved in the team foundation server or any version control server and uh, from where you need to get the latest copies uh, save into the local folder and then deploy to the report server by using report manager interface so here is uh, my report server instance this is the only one i have connect and i will be going to the report manager url so you don't have to go to this uh, reporting services configuration manager every time once you know the URL, you are good to go. So here is our URL for report manager. And if you can see that I have created some of the folders already. And in this case, I'm going to create a new one. So new folder. And this is going to be called sales report. Hit OK. Now in the sales report, we would like to deploy some reports and uh, we are going to use uh, the report manager and here we have an uh, option to upload file as you can say, see that this is a upload file so it does not upload multiple files at the same time so once we say upload file it is going to let us uh, browse to the folder and we can select dot rdl file so in this case uh, let's go ahead and select uh, the let me see we are and uh, just uh, I would like to get one report uh, that I created yesterday just want, don't want to make mistakes so, so let, this is called auto refresh report so hit okay overwrite if it is existing already hit okay so now we have deployed one report here and uh, we can go ahead and deploy another report a browser so every time we have to deploy one report so if you have hundreds of report this is not a great place to deploy all those reports so in this case let's say call to tooltip chart okay reports will be deployed and now once we click on these report to preview them we are getting error why we are getting error because we have not configured them to use the data source the report server cannot process the report or share data set the shared data source this what we have created in the report is missing uh, the actual data source so it need to connect to some data source on the report server 
so we have to provide that so let's go back to home here in the data sources we have to add that data source now if you see here it is giving us option to upload a file so we we can upload the file but the problem is upload a report dot rdl model dot smdl shared data set dot rsd report part dot rsc or other resources in a data source so the problem is if i will browse and upload that file that file will be will not be read as a data source so this will be just read as a simple xml file so let's open and upload so we did that because it is not one of the above type so it does not recognize this so it is going to just recognize a simple file that can be text file so if i click here it is opening a just a definition for that shared data source so that's the problem so i need to go back i need to recreate i'm going to delete this one and recreate the shared data source or data source for from here so click on new data source and i'm going to call this one sales now here i can provide the connection string i know uh, how to write a connection string but let's say you do not know so you will go to the project go to the share data source and just copy that data source copy cancel from here come back to the interface and provide that here now next part is using the credential which we should be using to connect to this data source so let's say in my case if i would like to say windows integrated integrated security use my own credential fine but when i will be using this data source for different reports and providing permission to those reports to different users they might not have the permission on the database server so that's not a good practice at all i recommend creating a service account or a sql account and use for your data sources and handle the preview publish and all permissions on the report level but when the connection happen to the database there should be only one login and that should be used to connect to the server and the databases and get the data for you you do not want to give permission to all those report users to the database so i recommend using one credentials so in our case we have created one so it is called the ssrs login and then the password was test123 if i will go ahead and test this connection it is a failing it is an instance of failure i i know my login is correct my password is correct but one thing we notice here is we have double backslash here and that's uh, we do not need in the report manager in the ssdt sql server data tools working just fine so if you see we have a double backslash here so that works just fine but uh, in the reporting uh, manager when we have to provide a connection string provide with single backslash so now if we test our connection it will fail again say password is not valid it, it actually password is valid but it is asking to retype so test one two three test connection give me a give me a break so i have to retype test one two three okay now connection uh, cr uh, created successfully hit okay we are all good our data source is created here this data source can be used in multiple reports so we're going to go ahead and use this one for our few of the reports go back to the sales report and go to auto refresh and click here go to manage and then use this data source go to data source tab and here as we know that inside the report we always give name remember we had been given ds sales and then use the shared data source so here we need to browse go to the data sources and provide to the sale hit ok apply go to the reports and now click on the report and you will see the report is ready so this is how you will be deploying multiple rdl files and creating the data sources in the report manager so this report is just working fine let's go back to the other report and see tooltip chart report so as we haven't configured this report for the data source it has given us error so let's go back drop down manage 
and then go to data sources and it is also used in a DS sales. So this is the good reason always provide nice names inside the data in, inside the report for data sets and data sources. So you would know that from there which data source it need to point when you are deploying the report to the report server. Browse, go to data sources, sales, hit OK, apply. Sales report tooltip uh, chart report the report is uh, being loaded or uh, if we can see that right now this is working great so we are able to deploy multiple reports uh, uh, by using the report manager and uh, we created data sources successfully one thing more I would like to say if you are this is where you are going to be working as a DBA and you are managing uh, uh, report servers uh, but there could be possibility you will be working as a developer and you would have permission on a different maybe QA level or dev level machines to manage these. So always manage your stuff in different folders such as I have done data sources, data sets, report names. It, it really handy when you need to permission provide the permissions. So let's say in, in this case you need to provide permission on HR reports. So you can provide the permission on folder level to those users. So you do not have to go to the reports, uh, uh, different reports and provide permission. It re really get tricky when you have a lot of reports and you have not managed in uh, uh, folders and uh, then uh, permissions uh, are all over. So it is really tricky and mess messy place uh, uh, with, the, with the permission. If you have not uh, really structured your uh, folders uh, according to your business uh, departments uh, and uh, I will suggest always create as many as small folders you can and think about that Windows groups they need the permission on that these folders so you always have this brainstorm before even start working with the reporting just don't create the report hundreds of report provide upload them and then start providing permission on each report to the individuals let's say you have provided permission to the five people on one report another seven people on another report so why not create a maybe a one folder and then have all those reports in that folder and then create a uh, Active Directory group uh, in which they all the users can be and then provide permission to that one So that will be easy to manage and if tomorrow somebody leaves uh, you do not have to come back and drop the permissions for each of the reports So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video